Welcome back to Factorio Demystified. Time to put in place the last major piece of pollution reduction, transitioning from steel furnaces to electric furnaces. Steel furnaces presently accounting for about half of our factory's total pollution output. And we're going to reduce that half by about 90% by the end of this session. We are also going to be seeing somewhat less in pollution from our miners because they're not going to be producing the coal anymore for this operation either. Then electric furnaces are going to require the power of course 74 to 75 megawatts each and that adds up quickly. So I've expanded to 30 megawatts of total solar power ahead of this. We've got a good buffer with using only about 19 or so for the current operation. And electricity will become a lot more volatile so we're going to want to be careful of that when we go electric. Removing then the inserters first. Another reason to make this transition is we're going to be scaling up soon to much higher production and I don't want to build more steel furnaces in doing that if we're just going to be replacing them anyway. So by getting the electrics in place I can just then expand that operation as much as I want and not worry about having to replace any of the setup later, just making it bigger. So then I'm just going to get rid of these belts in the middle as they are no longer needed and would just be getting in our way. And also remove this coal line. Electric furnaces, of course, don't need the coal. And then we will place the furnaces themselves. I'm not going to be expanding this at the moment. I'm just concerned with replacing it with the electrics and then we'll worry about whether we want to expand it later on. So our bigger, beefier electric furnaces getting put down. And then before we hook these up, I want to put efficiency modules in them. And then we can hook back up our inserters. One final item that I want to do is deal with the coal because there's no reason to let it just sit here on these lines. Let's use it somewhere else. Could set up a whole system of filter inserters and take belts and cart it off somewhere, but I think it's easier just to take a minute, pick it up, just standing close enough to this belt that we're getting the coal, but we're not getting the ore. And of course, you want to have a decent amount of room in your inventory when you do this. And then the other side. It is all clean, it is now working just as we would like it to. Then we're going to deposit everything we don't need in here, which is going to be coal, and then of course the steel furnaces, and then once this car fills up, I'll cart all of this up to my main factory and find better locations for it. For example, the coal is just going to get fed into our plastic operation. Steel furnaces we don't need anymore, so those will just be in permanent storage. And then we just simply move on to the next line. Same process continues for all of our other lines. And so now this entire area that was steel furnaces is now electric furnaces, but we aren't quite done yet. Back over here, 
in the remnant of what used to be our jumpstart factory, we still have the steel being made out of steel furnaces there. So we need a steel furnace set up over here, and I want to do this part first so that we aren't in a situation where we have a lapse in production. So I'm just going to run another belt along this side and just transfer over. Same basic technique, but of course we need the iron and steel ones, so it's two columns in all of this instead of one. And we have eight on the other setup, so we're going to do that same eight here. Then we just fill everything in as needed. Of course, we will not want to forget our efficiency modules. This can extend out. And we'll get lined up here. Of course, we will need to bring in the ore as well. Continuing to push this iron ore bus down as long as it needs to be. And the usual deal here to continue pushing everything to the top. And everything should be in order now. We just have to hook it up. Of course, the power will always be required. inserters and then we are back online. Let's get this run up to our bus and make something useful out of it. Now interestingly enough, this lines up at a point where I can just run it actually through this copper mining patch, which I think is kind of interesting way to go about it. Before we get up here too far though, I want to actually go over to where we're going to hook it up so we know exactly what route we're going to want this to take. So it's a bit of a hike over here. And I could put a merge splitter up here, but I'm not going to do that. Basically the steel that gets taken is from this right lane. That's the part that's going to be emptiest. So if this just side loads, it can all just go on there just fine and that will gradually fill up. If I was producing enough steel that I was saturating this, then that wouldn't work. There wouldn't be anywhere for it to go, but that's not going to be the situation here. And then I'm going to hop this across so that it can line up here. Because I don't actually have room for it to come in down here. If I had left a little more space I could do it that way but either way works and back we go to the source all right a little bit further out this way
And now we have our flow, and we need to get back to the jump start factory in order to take down the old setup. These junctions are no longer needed to be split off because that's all just going over to our original steel area, which no longer is required. So we're just going to clean all this up, and it's going to be a lot of moving resources around, but at the same time, I think it's quite satisfying when you've moved the last of that jumpstart factory out and it is no longer needed in any way, shape, or form. And of course we have all of these ancient power poles in here, the small ones. But this entire bit is going to be reclaimed and just turned into flat terrain. The extra resources have now been distributed around as appropriate. For example, these chests of about 4,000 total units of coal gradually to be consumed by our plastic. And let's look at the results of our work in pollution. So several minutes ago, we did knock out the last of those steel furnaces, so this is going to disappear soon. But even so, our electric furnaces are a distant third to assembling machines and mining drills in terms of producing pollution. And if we look at the visuals, you can see these spots appearing even close to our factory where the pollution layer is just so thin and it's shrinking back. All of this is looking great. Now from here on out, there isn't anything big that we can do to lower it more. It's just going to be increasing that minimal level of pollution as we expand the operations of the factory. But we can move on some from that focus and really look forward to, all right, what more is the factory gonna do for us? And that's gonna start with a path of, it's gonna be multiple episodes looking at robotics. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. It's also a very big topic. So we're gonna break it up a bit. Hopefully you'll be around for that as Factorio Demystified returns. <laughs>